Hi, I'm Ron Lau from TLC Tugger Foreskin Restoration. Today I'd like to show you how we incorporate a conical spring into the TLCX to make it a strapless elastic tension device. Let me show you how it works. The TLCX is normally used with the collet tightening down on the rod to fix a specific displacement of the pusher. Tighten the collet. The spring means you don't need the collet while you're wearing it. You can still get a displacement and it's not fixed, it's elastic and somewhat forgiving. So to get the spring in there we have to take the pusher and rod out. We're going to put the spring in next. Let me set the collet aside. So the spring goes over the pushing rod like so. Now to protect the silicone tugger body from the pointy spring we add a little three millimeter washer. Maybe you can see that. That can go back in the in the tugger body and now we have to collapse the pusher into the tugger to put it on ourselves. Now notice that be, even though that's a conical spring and it nests neatly there's still a sort of a gap between the pusher and the tugger body so this is not a technique for beginners to be sure. You need a little bit of slack to work this one out. But the way we accomplish this is we first collapse the spring fully and then I'm going to press against my body to do this. Then we can use the collet as a tool to temporarily hold the spring in that compressed position. Then we would apply the device to ourselves, roll our skin up past the pusher onto the tugger body, grip our skin there with the retaining cone, and once the device is on ourselves, we would carefully undo the collet and slowly and carefully let the spring extend and now it's pushing on our glands and notice that in this case the, the rod doesn't even need to extend past the end of the tugging handle so this becomes a more discreet way to wear elastic tension compared to the rubber bands which you may have seen in one of our other videos you don't have to stop with one spring we supply a TLCX with two springs and you can try both of them at the same time if you like it's actually a softer compression because two springs in series are only half as stiff. They can travel a lot farther. Uh, that said, of course, like I said before, uh, when you assemble the device, there's still going to be a gap. It's about the same gap even with two springs because they're conical and they nest inside each other. And compressing both of those springs all the way, you know, that's about an inch and a half, two inches, does create more force than one spring can create by itself. And so I'm not going to use the collet this time. I'm going to get out my gnarly uh, collar with big set screw to hold that amount of force. So then again I would apply the device, get my skin gripped with the retaining cone, and now carefully release the collar, put that in my pocket till next application, and I would have the spring tension pushing on my glands while I'm wearing the device. You could actually combine that with strap tension if you wanted. Since the collar isn't even anywhere near the handle there would be no interference at all. To estimate how much tugging force this technique is putting on your glands you could use a kitchen scale like this one. So place your device on the scale, set it to zero, and then you can push down on the device so the compression of the spring is the only additional force the scale is feeling. So if for example you wore your device and observed uh, let's say in this case 0.4 inches between the end of the rod and the handle you could reproduce that condition on the scale And look at the, the meter on the scale now says one and a quarter pounds. So if while I was wearing it I had a 0.4 inch gap in that location on the device, I know that it's pushing on my glands with one and a quarter pounds, which by the way is, is way, way more tension than anybody needs. Probably a, a third to a half pound is plenty.
I hope that proved helpful. Check out our other videos and contact us with any questions at tlctugger.com. Cheers.